Good evening. The news came out nationally in the form of a presidential tweet. President Trump praised Governor Christie Nome for bringing the, quote, big fireworks back to Mount Rushmore for an Independence Day celebration in 2020. The elaborate fireworks displays took place for 12 years, but the practice was stopped in 2009 due to the threat of forest fires in the Black Hills because of the pine beetle infestation. But as Angela Kennecke has uncovered in tonight's Kelloland News investigation, forest fires aren't the only threat from fireworks to the environment. Between 1998 and 2009, to celebrate the 4th of July, tons of fireworks were set off over the top of the memorial. While it seemed like a fitting display at one of the most patriotic monuments in the U.S., water testing in the area highlighted on this map revealed that fireworks were filling the water around Mount Rushmore with a toxic chemical. Past firework displays are the most probable source of perchlorate contamination in Mount Rushmore. That was a Rapid City hydrologist with the U.S. Geological Survey. In 2011, the USGS began testing the water at Mount Rushmore and found high concentrations of perchlorate in groundwater and streams around the monument. Perchlorate is a common component in rocket fuels, fireworks, explosives, and also a byproduct in certain nitrogen fertilizers. At high levels, the Center for Disease Control says perchlorate can interfere with the thyroid gland. An EPA health advisory sets a maximum concentration of perchlorate at 15 micrograms per liter of water. In the study released in 2016, hydrologists found 38 micrograms per liter in the groundwater and 54 micrograms per liter in a stream sample, 270 times higher than that in samples collected outside the memorial. Three million visitors consume drinking water at the memorial every year, and park workers consume it year-round. The USGS says dynamite that was used to blast the memorial in the 1930s is not a likely source of the perchlorate. We asked the National Park Service at Mount Rushmore about an upcoming fireworks display for next summer and the potential threat to the drinking water for visitors. A spokesperson from Mount Rushmore told us the National Park Service is committed to working with the state and other land management agencies, exercising our full authorities under state and federal law to explore and develop safe and responsible options in regard to the proposal. Thank you, Angela. Now, we also reached out to Governor Christy Nome. Nome's office says advances in fireworks have made them safer, and there are now perchlorate-free fireworks. She says the goal is to make the show as environmentally friendly as possible. A spokesperson from the pyrotechnics industry tells Kelloland Investigates, while perchlorate-free fireworks are available, they are not as, quote, pretty or vibrant.